Hello and welcome everyone, this is Blackadder, Blackadder's Place, I'm welcoming you to Thursday stream and well we have a story of Yuhanka to continue, so I'm kind of guessing we might be already getting in and if I remember correctly then we should be we should be heading into Ladechko we were kind of getting up early because we're also going to bed early and we have a, a whore to convince to drop her job, let's say <laughs> And by that, I don't mean anything tied to hand or whatever like that. <laughs> no, well, just her employment, let's say. So let's see how it's gonna be working, because the first quest that we had so far didn't exactly go all that well, helping the dude stop with the gambling. But hopefully this time it's gonna be slightly better. You can see we are getting up quite early. Getting up quite early indeed, so let's close up. And do we have still some pretzels? I think we should be still having some pretzels. Poisoned arrow there. 209 better hunting arrows. Where do we actually have so many of them with us? Now well, who knows. Yeah, having two brats, they're gonna be already going bad. We of maybe for lunch. The bird is gonna be alright. I'll be like in some like pretzel maybe if we still have, yeah, we have. Okay, so pretzel for breakfast. Let's head on into adventure. No, let's kind of clean, clean ourselves up first so that we get up a bit. Ah, oh, still a few stars. One lone star, maybe it's gonna be some planet. Uh, nope, that's gonna be a star because it seems to be slightly twinkling. There's another one a bit more to the northwest. Oh, northeast actually. Northwest, like looking at, the, at this right about now, but in reality, it's actually a bit to the northeast looking at the compass of the game. <laughs> Yeah, no need to wake everybody up. So let it go. That should be straight up there through the forest, right? Oh, I'm not remembering yeah. it wrong. And we cannot be taking the stroll through the forest. Just to enjoy the countryside near darkness. Maybe find a few bandits. Some kind of morning exercise. This is actually kind of cool, this little road. I... Have I actually noticed this before? It's actually a really kind of really cool little detail. How it usually goes, you are having the main road, and once it gets windy like this, then you're gonna be inevitably people who are gonna be making shortcuts and trying to ignore that. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm not sure if I actually noticed it ever before. Yeah! I'm just gonna intrigued by something here, but that was probably only this flower kind of funnily lit up on some first sunlight rains or other rays. Yeah. Yeah, there's the mill with the cumin, who is <laughs> apparently being held prisoner here for about like three months already. <laughs> Poor guy. I could maybe start in some private business with, with incarcerating humans. Besides all the other stuff that the millers apparently seem to be doing in this realm and in this game. I actually really wonder if the millers, if, if it has some kind of like backing in his story. I wouldn't be surprised too much if it really there was some kind of backing for it. But it's really rather peculiar why millers should be like the thieves guild pretty much. If they were just like kind of randomly given it yeah. because it was important for like the game mechanics. 
mechanisms rather. Or if really there was something historical behind it. You wonder. I don't remember if actually if it was given in the in the codex. Can I check? Um, 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 where do we have Miller's? Miller's. Not? Curious. There we have. There we have them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Freelance profession. Conducted trade in the village among other roles. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting, even back then they were actually concerned about water usage. They also drew up a code of conduct for millers, so as to ensure their use of water for milling caused no loss to others. This is really cool. And what we are talking about today, regarding the drought and whatever like that, it wasn't exactly the same back then, but they already had a concern about it. <laughs> Aha, th there it is. It actually does have a basis in history. Since the mills stood apart from the other village houses, millers were often the subject of gossip and were accused of earning money on the side in nefarious ways. From selling customers short on flour to outright witchcraft, thievery and trafficking in stolen goods. Later accusations in particular were certainly defamatory and without a grain of truth. I cannot tell, cannot tell if this is actually sarcasm or not. It almost seems that it is. But it might be just basically sarcasm concerning yeah. the game. But yeah, apparently there was some there is some kind of basis for it. That mirrors where the thieves guilt. Okay, so we got here quite early. Not many people might be up still. So where do we have her? She's probably gonna be at the bathhouse and maybe she's not even sleeping. Well, if she's working, then she's not sleeping, right? <laughs> Being a whore and all. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> uh, where is the bathhouse? There. There we have the white tents. So, are you like... No, you're not around the clock establishment, so you're gonna have to wait for her. Maybe that's her. Have a bit of a drink if you want to. What are you looking for? If, if you want to go inside, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Have to no, don't you have a bit of a problem? Is that Adela crying in that room? Ah, uh, it's a bit unpleasant. <laughs> but she doesn't care too much. That fellow is beating her up. The gentleman is a little on the rough side, but he pays well, and the bruises will heal soon enough. <laughs> I want to talk to her. You can't now. The door stays locked, and the key stays safely with me. Wait until tomorrow. <laughs> the church sent me in there. She could be killed. No, no, not really killed, but she could be hurt, let's say. She could be killed in there. And do you think the bailiff wouldn't hold you responsible, sitting here and doing nothing to stop it? You really think she could be? God almighty. Here, so are we gonna be catching her with pants down? <laughs> Please, help I do her. wonder. She's sitting right outside the door. She can hear everything, but she don't. What the fuck are Are you yanking my pizzle? <laughs> I said get out. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for Adela. For Adela? But I paid for that whore. No, oh, she is a whore. So... <laughs> I won't wait. <laughs> That's good. Uh, 
can come to an agreement. Yeah, let's kind of try it in this. Let's try to de-escalate it a bit. I'm sure we can come to some agreement. Your agreement, I'll report you to the law or you stop. <laughs> That's a nice agreement, I guess. Have you any idea the shit I can land you in if I have a word with the bailiff? The bailiff doesn't care about some whore. Maybe, maybe not. He might care about your sodomy, though, if I give him an eyewitness account. Fucking hell. What do you want from me? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> what kind of sodomy Fuck. witness? I don't need this shit. But you haven't heard the last of this, fucker! I'll cut your fucking throat for that! Alright. <laughs> yeah, you're not running anywhere. Madame said it quite clearly. <laughs> I wonder where he actually is running. Ah, quick, 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 quick. I wonder, I want to know where he lives. In case I need to catch him. Holy crap, he's running far away and he does have really good stamina. They're gonna be taking a shortcut. Does he live in this house or... There he is. Okay, seems to be standing there, so we know where he is. <clears throat> and where he lives. Right? Changing undergarments and whatever. Alright, so he lives here. Okay, so we know where he is from. Uh, let's get back to Adela. Okay, so this wasn't exactly like when you were going real time, which is basically curiosity overcame me where he's gonna be coming and whatnot. Because otherwise in real life you would be just kind of staying with the girl and whatever talking to her and then trying to find him later. Maybe I close the door or apparently not, I was already engaged. Um... Should go Adila. Not here. She ran off to. Okay. So she. <laughs> She apparently had enough of it and went to sleep, okay, so we're gonna be having to wait for her to wake up. Well, it's the only seven, so it's alright. Go and sin no more. I decided to intervene and save Adela. Okay, so I had a word with Madame at the bath, but she said the bath wench I'm looking for is busy just now on my mission to save the soul of Ledechko prostitute. I went straight to Adela, who I already knew since the time I was investigating the Neuhof raid. While I was looking for the bathwench, I heard a row going on in the bathhouse. I looked into it and found out the bathwench was arguing with a customer, and he was putting her in place, rather in her place in no uncertain terms. I decided to intervene and save Adela from the violent customer. 
Yeah, I certainly ought to wait for her and talk to her, okay? Alright, so Adela, there we go. What in God's name have you done? I, I, I saved you. Oh my God! Reputation lost Everything again. Will kill Second. Me if Marouche doesn't first. Everything will be all right. All right. Well, that's not you going well. You said that about Hinnick when you were looking for him, and he ended up dead. Oh, that's this Adela. Right now, I remember. All right. Leave this place. I'll help you. What? Why? What are you on about? Why do you live like this? Why don't you just leave? How? Like I should just drop everything here, pack my things and go off to see someone I don't even know? Well, when you put it like <laughs> that, it does sound a bit peculiar. I, I haven't exactly so. told her anything about Johanka yet. Madness. It's like starting all over from the beginning. And why did you become a... Uh, you know, huh, that was a, a beard. Prostitute. There was something missing in there, it seems. Yeah. In the dialogue a bit. If you're expecting to hear some touching tale about a poor girl tossed around by fate, you'll be disappointed. I didn't want a husband and I needed money. So just hmm. for money? What do you think I do it for? Love? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a problem with that? No, not really. No. Everyone has to make a living, but you don't have to be a a bathmaid. Yeah. So what else should I do? Not have a problem with it, but it doesn't mean that it's not like low. <laughs> it's her decision in the end. Doesn't mean I cannot look down upon it. That it's weird. No, she doesn't want to get married, so get yourself a You can just job. find yourself a different livelihood. Why? What's wrong with the one I have? Well, getting beaten up and whatnot doesn't seem all that fine. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to do this forever, it's also quite true. Uh, you're an outcast that's kind of like... Kind of like aggressive, let's say. Let's kind of do it nicely. Haven't you ever thought of doing something different? Like what? Well, she won't be making all that much of a money in this. So I don't think. I mean, like that—that's an obvious choice. So if you—if she wanted to do that, she would. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> Become a widow. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a profession for some gold diggers. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What about some trade? Like how about some knitting? trade? Not blacksmithing, of course, but Are you out of your mind? Why? When was the last time you saw a woman artisan? Oh, that's true enough. What the artisan? She can be like sewing or I, whatever. I still think I'm better off here. I won't be able to do this forever, let's go there. What about when you get older? Do you think the men will still come to you? That's true, unfortunately. Yeah, the disease, of course. You can't go on like this forever. You could catch some nasty disease. What do you know about such things? I've seen plenty, believe me. Maybe too much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Try not not on, not on myself, I hope. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> the apothecary and Ratai could tell you a lot about the ailments people come to him with. I'm still not sure. Yeah, you're living in a sin that's kind of like... In the medieval period, maybe it would be helping, but we are not exactly like following through with that too much. But you're a pariah. No one will talk to you. What do I care about anyone else? Let them look out for themselves, and I'll do the same. 
Does that anything matter to you? You don't care what other people think. They can think what they like. You won't always be able to manage on your own, whether you like it or not. So what? This is an interesting conversation. And a slightly strange. Why are we picking up Johanka? We haven't talked about her yet at all. It really seems there is something missing at the very, very beginning. Maybe I took the path that was not expected to be taken too much. Well, look at the refugees from Skalitz. Do you think they'd have managed on their own without the help of Sir Hannes? No, I suppose not. Why? Really? This really makes no sense. There has to be something missing at this time with Johanka. Because she already was kind of reacting to her without us telling, us, telling her anything about it. So it's kind of strange. Just so. People should stick by each other. I'm still not sure. You don't care that you're living in sin? Oh, sin, so, really? Virtue won't put food on yeah, the table. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Can you live with what you're doing? Apparently she can. Oh, belly isn't everything. Man cannot yeah. live by bread alone. I'll wager you've never known real hunger. Uh, no, actually, sometimes I have in the playthrough. <laughs> oh, okay. But generally, we are well eaten. So real hunger, probably, I don't think so. Let's no, be honest. Not really. I thought I'm gonna much. help, but still, it's honesty. I'm not sure. I don't think it's all that bad here. Sorry, but this is going nowhere. But we were just. To tell the truth, I don't believe you much. Here, I have some certainty at least. Oh well, it's your decision. You'll have to answer to God. Okay, so it's another quest we failed. That's my affair. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> okay, so apparently you have to be going really hardcore into it to convince them. So Adela is not going to be coming with us, she's gonna be still fine here. I mean like overall, you can kinda understand her. <laughs> Definitely kind of disappointing so far <laughs> how the playthrough is going. You not know, getting any kind of quests well. And whatever like that. I mean, like, it's obvious what kind of answers you should be coming for to basically convince them. But they don't seem to be at all natural. They seem to be really forced. And with since I'm playing, since I'm playing as if it was, basically, basically as I was doing decisions in real life and whatever like that. I'm trying to hold through, uh, through to that. And if it's not leading to the correct result, then it's not. Simply not. Overall, I'm not entirely certain I will be trying to converse her all that much. Okay, this seems like a thief. Somebody help me! Watch it! You can't draw your weapon here! I'll get no. you! He's going luckily the same way I was wanting to go. Yeah. Now. Learn how to ride a horse, idiot. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you with a hammer, and we're gonna be bad mouth, bad mouth in me, right? Oh, there he is. I'm probably not gonna be even using any kind of weapon for him. Did we like straight kill him? <laughs> Didn't exactly want to do that too much, but alright. Well, take your things back. 
and give me my four groschens or how much you are you giving. You showed him. Thank you. Um, thanks. Six. Hmm? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so they're exactly gonna be making some kind of dent or increase in our personal wealth. You know, having like 30,000 or whatever like that. But anyway, it's gonna visit the dude from Adila. Yeah. Who we failed to convince to stop her. To stop her things, which is of course not boring all that well for. What's going on here? One of them was the guy, Henslin. Was the guy who is actually doing stuff to Adela. So apparently, if you actually wanted to solve that, you would have to be going with them and doing something to him. But since you cannot fail that quest, you didn't convince her. Um, gonna be assuming that, well... You're gonna be having your fun with her next time, I guess, since she didn't want yeah. to leap. Well, her problem. Her problem and her decision. You can probably fast travel back, I guess. No, so far, uh, <laughs> Johanka gave us two quests and we both failed them. So that's really great, great going so far in the DLC <laughs> and her path. But yeah, well, that's how the decisions resulted. And ambush, oh well, we're gonna be having a bit of fun, of course. Gonna be clearing the bandits out. Most yeah. Oh, human. Yeah. Yeah. It's an archer. Yeah. That went right straight through him somehow. Yeah. hits and he's gone and we have some kind of friend here. I think it's usually just like one cumin. Kinda curious he doesn't have the chest here. Yeah it seems to be only the archer. Alright. Yeah let's look what he had. Bacon, bandages, we can take that. Better hunting arrows we don't need. Groschens, of course. Okay, pretzel and wounded arrows. And heavy lamellar armor for 800, we're gonna be taking that. That's rather expensive. Or maybe I'll just kinda leave it on the spot. Do we actually need to take it? We have plenty of money at this point, so you can be taken just valuable. So yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it be. Heavy lamellar armor. Let's leave it on him. Let's take only like small things that are gonna be at the same time also valuable. So he needs to be also having the bow somewhere drop close by. There it is, the human bow. Hmm, not entirely all that expensive. Well, okay, that was a quite nice little adventure. Two shots, two hits. We can continue.
we have the Barnes Diet Prep. So we have been keeping our health, or rather health, our feeding habits, or feeding habits, food habits, kind of cool and healthy for the past about like six days, I think it is. Your uncle's a shameless wretch and a sinner. He's lost her mind and doesn't know what she's saying. Hmm. Really? Really, really, really? You think so? Yeah. Okay, she's sitting. Uh, okay, let's talk to her. Henry, how did it go? In oh, not well. Henry. I went to Ledetko. Since you're asking night. about it. And? How did it turn out? Not very well, I'm afraid. I had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with her, but it was in vain. Oh, that's a real pity. I was hoping we could help another soul to find salvation. And that I'd have someone to help out here. I'll pray for her soul. And how are things going here? The whole text was though the whole kind of script was Much weird because we never mentioned Johanka and there were mentions of her in the conversation. It really made no sense in that. So I'm kind of slightly Mathias worried. Maybe you got a bucked quest or whatever conversation in there. Troublemakers, though. Troublemakers. So slightly disappointed oh, in that. While you were gone, but yeah, well, thugs came hopefully not. Hopefully it was as it was supposed to be. Brought. Then they vanished before the guards got here. Oh. Who were they? I didn't see them at it, but there's some fellas hanging around now by the entrance to the monastery. Maybe that's them? And whenever I go into town, they take liberties with me. Take liberties how? Did they hurt you? No. They just make all sorts of offensive comments on account of me speaking on the square. And when someone comes to see me, they make trouble for them. So now, almost no one wants to come here. Maybe you could have a word with them? Uh, what about the guards, for example? What about the guards? They just stand by doing nothing. They didn't catch them in the act, so they can't do anything about them. I see. Okay, I see what can right. be done. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Henry. And I think we're at the start of the conversation goes. here. Right. Actually, it leads me to believe maybe if I just didn't screw up the quest altogether because I didn't remember how it started. Because I also didn't check on it all that much. And that is... That she right now basically alluded to the fact... Huh, interesting. That she was kind of like looking for a bit of a help, but I don't think that was like the main main thing on the conversation there with Adela. So maybe I just, maybe even just straight, straight screw it up because I didn't remember how it was. Yanka sent me to Ledechko to find a sinful bathwench and redeem her. Yeah, I, I don't think, this is really all weird quest. I don't, don't remember exactly the conversation, but I don't think it was all about getting her help. It was rather about helping her. And it wasn't like aimed at getting help to Johanka. I could be wrong, I could definitely be misremembering it. But it's kind of weird. Let's eat one of the breads. Uh, do we have something special with it? Apparently we don't, so we're just gonna be having the bread. That's it. Oh, we had the bacon though. That's how much? Uh, nourishment 15, that's way, way, way too much at this point. Let's go talk to the dude here. What's up? has a shameless wretch and a sinner. He's lost her. God be with you, my good man. <laughs> Suddenly, so much of a change here. Likewise. Likewise, pilgrim. And to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Who sent you here? 
sent us, no one but the Holy Spirit and oh, sure. our Christian duty. I see. Well, my Christian duty prompts me to give a bit of coin to those in need. What do you say? Are you in need? Hmm. What do you say to this? More. No, all right. At least we save still well, uh, five groschens. Thanks for the uh, arms. Listen, here's how it is. Some of the important citizens here don't care for Johanka talking nonsense about visitations from the Virgin Mary. And there are certain good wives who think she's up to no good. They don't like good it that wives. their husbands are hanging around here. And there's talk that she's got something with the custodian and who knows who else. And we're just here to warn decent people about the iniquities going on here. Uh-huh. Is that so? Yeah, well, now is you've that me, so? You clear off. Well, I'm afraid we don't want to do that. Oh, you will have to. Get the hell out of here and leave your hanker and everyone else here in peace. Got it? Ah, we'd love to oblige, but we really don't feel like going anywhere. Oh, you're gonna be Sorry. feeling that way soon, I guess. Enough of your nonsense. Clear off. And if I catch you round here again, I'll have you clapped in the pillory. Good sir. Surely you wouldn't pillory simple fellas like us just for wanting to earn a groschen. We'll <laughs> on our to way earn a groschen, and sure. overlook our little intrusion. All right? Get going. And don't dare come back. Aye, aye. We're going. Okay, so finally we actually succeeded in some quests. So good. <laughs> I'm gonna be even using our horsey to come back for the time being. But, okay, so two quests failed. This is gonna be like the second succeeded, I think. I'm gonna be kinda curious how much of a ratio you need to somehow help her with what is supposed to come later. I dealt with those troublemakers. They won't be coming back in a hurry. Thanks, Henry. I thought they'd never go. You didn't say anything about it to the custodian, did you? Uh, nope. Ah, he knows nothing about it. You don't think I need the help of Sir Sebastian to deal with a few thugs, do you? Good. I wouldn't want him to think I'm in distress. Oh? Why's that? Ah, nothing. It's not important. Uh. Listen. There's some <laughs> merchant staying at the Wagoner's Inn who's been asking after me. Would you go with me to see him? I know those thugs are gone and it should be safe now, but... Of course I'll go. Yeah, sure, why not? Throw after all. Pavelov hmm. Colin, I believe you were asking for me. Thank you for coming, Johanka. I hope you're not offended by this meeting place. I apologize, but I feel a little confused in your presence. It's your preaching. In truth, I don't know whether I'm speaking to you or the Virgin Mary. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of nice poetic. Yohanka. All she's missing is an infant in her arms. <laughs> and a blue cloak and a halo. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I believe the Blessed Virgin speaks through me. That's all. Just like Henry's miraculous wit speaks through him. <laughs> what exactly. is it you wanted to see me about, Pavel? <laughs> Divine Providence led me back to Sasau after many years. And by the same grace, I, I think heard white the words that, isn't he? And my eyes were opened. Just as the Blessed Virgin wanted. Are you troubled by some sin, Pavel? I've encountered many things in my life, but I never before heard a true prophetess speaking. And you're right. It came to me that it was time for me to make amends for my sin of long ago. 
and I decided to do some deed for the common good. It yeah, definitely could be like cleaning up a bit. It's quite dirty. Pavel, <laughs> though a bit mysteriously, I'm not sure I understand you. I notice you have an armed escort with you. Henry is my protector, helper, and good friend. Because not everyone in Sassal hears the words of the Virgin with the same piety as you. This may be yet another ray of divine providence. You see, I'm looking for someone with an adventurous but honest soul. Someone who would find some wealth that I lost and donate it all to the deserving in Sassal. Uh -huh. Aha! Hmm. Henry here could be just the man you need. Is that so, Henry? Uh, yeah. You won't find a more adventurous soul in these parts. <laughs> you speak boldly. That pleases <laughs> me. Johanka, I'd like to thank you kindly for your visit. I don't wish to detain you any longer. If you feel we've said all that needs to be said, I'll leave you and Henry to discuss things alone. Okay, so you're gonna be having another quest here, so hopefully this time you're not gonna be failing. Johanka is an exceptional person with an important mission, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm glad yeah. people see her that way, but I just try and help her as an ordinary friend who's concerned about her. Yep. A job like any other, is it? Anyway, what is it you want help with? It's like this. In the last year of Emperor Charles's reign, I came here to Sassau to close a profitable deal, but it didn't turn out entirely as planned, and I was obliged to hide some of my money in the woods near the town. Who would even imagine that in the ruins of an old settlement lies a real treasure trove? I tried to go and recover it myself, and I can be glad that I didn't pay for that attempt with my life, as you've probably noticed. Yeah, I kind of noticed you're a bit bettered. Yes, you look like you were mauled by a pack of enraged squirrels. <laughs> the truth is even more absurd. I simply lost my footing and tumbled. Oh, down okay, so that's the no explanation. Why he's so dirty and whatever. <laughs> that I ought to leave the search to someone such as yourself. Oh, well, all the saints must have been watching over here, Your guardian guess. angel must have had his work cut out, keeping you from running into Cuman patrol. Where is this treasure of yours, then? I'll describe the way there. All right. You can enter the woods between the quarry and the marshland. You can see the spot from here. There's a small stream that flows into the river. Following it upstream seems simple enough, but actually it took me a long time getting up that slope. As I already said, I tripped and rolled quite a way down, after which I considered it wiser to abandon my search. As if that were Doesn't enough, want that money I that much in the end, then. Well, maybe it'll still be there. Unless it's been devoured by some boar with good taste in clothing. <laughs> hmm, who knows? If you should find it, you're welcome to have it. As you can see, I've already got a new one. Anyway, at the point where I fell, there's a forest track that joins the stream. If you follow it closely, and you'll need to keep your eyes peeled, you'll come upon the ruins of a settlement. And in one of those ruins, the money is stashed. Right, quarry, stream, path, ruins. I should be able to remember. Yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> Not really good at remembering instruction Actually, like this. I'd rather you made the donation for okay. me. Okay. I'm in no shape for running around now. Just come back when you've found it or not. Meanwhile, I'll give some thought to who we shall donate the money to. Agreed? Okay. Well, how could I refuse a pleasant stroll in the countryside? Exactly. I'd be happy to go and look for your stash. You are indeed an adventurous soul, Henry. As I recall, I hid there not only a large amount of Groschen, but also something else. Nothing valuable, just a dagger which will be rusty by now. Please bring that to me too, as a memento. Good luck, Henry, and thank you. Okay. <laughs> Why did it have to be that treasure? Okay, so we kind of know where it is, so we don't need to be really asking him anything more. To be right now, opening the window, it's really hot here.
Okay, so let's go. It's gonna be somewhere between marshes and the quarry. Where? Oh yeah, we left the horse up there. Unfortunate. So you're gonna have to get him. Now Mr. Pebbles. Oh, I kind of thought that he's gonna be running in, but no, he decided to use his teleportation powers. <laughs> I was just going to basically, since he saw me, it would be possible or the plausible that he would be coming after me. Yeah. I kind of wonder who is actually after your hunker. Can we like find that out? Good women. That's probably gonna be some like traders, wives, and whatever like that. Let's kind of do a bit of an investigation into that if we can. Good health to you. God be with you. Okay, so not not the lady butcher. No, bath wench is probably not gonna be a good wife, I guess. Uh, but you could be looking towards, for example, the blacksmith somewhere nearby. Yeah. We have like a quest for that, I wouldn't assume so. God bless. God Apparently bless nothing. You, Katra. God safe. What can I do for you? Hmm. God be with you. So nothing. So that actually seems to me that maybe it's gonna be only like later part of the quest, the bad mountain wives. I have to basically kind of look into it a bit more. I'll be looking into the baker and potentially the trader wife. Yeah. Goodbye. Nope, nope, nope. So maybe that was just some kind of like, it was a random idea. Maybe you could have sold that already. But maybe it's gonna be only later, if it's even gonna be any kind of quest. It's not just a random mention. Come on, Pebbles. Oh, after. Greetings. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait a second. I was just kind of intrigued by the nicely laid out cabbages here. <laughs> kind of seems funny for some reason to me. And 
Ellen the Taylor. That's gonna be the last one. That's the one that we didn't help, so she would have potentially a reason to be having something against Johanka. Because she didn't exactly receive any kind of help and whatnot, so maybe Guta God is sort of a problem. No, well, apparently not. Okay, so apparently this was just a moot point, so let's go ahead into the treasure trove. And for the treasure trove. Yeah. So between Marsh and Gwery. Yeah. Between Marshland and Query, yeah. right? She said. Or rather, he said. Okay, request the blah blah blah. Between the Sasau Query and the Marshland, at the point where a woodland stream flows into the river. Follow uphill. Woodland path that joins it. Pablo lost his head there. Okay. The path should There's be the quarry. Smaller. There's the marshland. Yep. Now, where is the stream? Exactly. Hello. No, exactly. Where is that stream? There it is. I can't oh. see any other stream here. So I suppose straight to. up the hill here. Oh, uh, that might be just a bit too challenging. Oh, I can see the melons here. That's random. So can you pebbles go up there? Oh yeah, our mountain goat, mountain horse is apparently gonna be good enough. Yeah, this is not gonna be the path. Well, I can definitely understand that he took a tumble here, at this point. Let's use this road right next to it. Yeah, Pebbles is definitely struggling with it all. But, we get into some better ground at this point. Okay, that's much better. Well, how could he actually lose and do a tumble about here when this is already right now the bit of a flatter ground? The biggest problem was a bit lower. He apparently got past that. This is quite a hike. No sign of a path yet. It must be further on. Yeah, there's gonna be some kind of boost here again, getting cold. Right? Of course, moonshine. Okay, the spawn <laughs> the spawned the deer in there, that was a bit spooky. Just as we basically turn around. It's kinda nicely modeled all those all that moss and everything around on the stones. Here's that footpath. This okay. is definitely the right way. Yeah, it apparently seems to be. So is it like the yellow hat that's what he lost? Yeah, Pavel of Collins chaperone. You can probably pick it up for him. So let's pick it up. 
Can we give it to him if he's gonna be interested in it? I'm not entirely interested in it myself. Pavel of Colleen's shop. Whoa, 442. God damn, that's an expensive one. Definitely a wealthy merchant, it seems. Pavel's fine chaperon, probably made by himself. Kinda cool. Let's bring it back to him then. Another booze? Of course. <laughs> All those spots with the booze here. It's almost like some kind of pub run. <laughs> Somebody was keeping the relay stages here for himself. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Whoa, that's a big part of the countryside here. I'm kind of curious what was this. Uh, it's just something on the ground, some kind of speck of stone or whatever. Okay, so here we go. Some kind of encampment. It seems like maybe some poacher spot. Oh, yeah, this is a poacher spot. So, since we are gonna like pretty much a bailiff, let's gonna talk to him. What's Damn. this all about? Poaching, are we? No, I'm on guard against Grumos here, see? <laughs> sure. Oh, on the lookout for Cumos, are you? Aye, the whole countryside's full of them. You <laughs> must have smelt them yourself. <laughs> oh, I can't say I've smelt any Cumos here lately. You haven't got a nose for them. Cumos have a funny smell about them, see? Like a mouldy foot rubbed with blueberries. <laughs> Is there some abandoned settlement somewhere nearby? Aye, at the end of the trail through the woods. Just follow it, and you'll get to this mysterious kind of place. I saw some mercenaries going there not oh, long okay. ago. Okay, we can get to fun. Krumos. That ain't my style there. I'm more of a sneaky fella. I like to spot them at a distance, or crouch behind a wall. <sighs> mysterious place, really. What's so mysterious about this place? There's a lot of lairs and dens. Valuables left by ancestors. You only have to put your ear to the ground and listen to the stones, know what I mean. Okay, so we he's don't. a bit crazy, well, I, I don't imagine think. It. He's gonna be alright in the head all that much. Sometimes. Okay, apparently we don't get to talk about the mercenaries anymore, and that's a bit... ...unfortunate. Also slightly strange, you don't get to basically talk to him down about him being a poacher at all. Hmm, have we need some pretzels here. Well, okay, apparently this is not like something that could be handling, yeah. therefore, unfortunately. But we need to be careful about medicine. You think you can stand in my path, Boulder? I won't give in that easy. What? <laughs> It seems like that you can like break it off looking at the torch here. That was a random thing to say. I have a bit of a feeling that maybe if you take the torch. It's gonna be somehow falling apart. That was really strange why he commented on that. I don't want to be taking it out because I wouldn't be able to put it back in. Maybe you're actually supposed to be using it if you run away from the mercenaries or something, like a bit of a help. Basically you run away from them and you can Pull the rock on top of their heads. I won't be surprised at all if that was the case. Huh. That was a really random comment yeah. there by Henry. Ok, 
Okay. Dead and looted. A lot of arrow in him. Hmm. Yeah, we're certainly gonna be seeing a few dudes here. Let's not step on is that too much? And oh, okay, there seems to be something going on. What is that? Maybe not yet. Okay, so there's somebody dead. There's a building. I'm here at last. I'll have to comb the whole place. Let's be careful because it seems to me there's gonna be somebody here. Austrian orders. A document commissioned a band of mercenaries to patrol the woods. Went to commission a band of mercenaries to patrol the woods of Sasau and keep watch for humans. Okay, that's interesting. Should be probably taking that. Sausage is already bad. Apparently they're here a really long time already. It looks like he was sent here by the Sasau custodian. I should tell him about it. Okay, so the cave is gonna be the last one. Let's just investigate around here a bit. Should be putting up a weapon just in case. Oh yeah. One shot, one kill. And we improved in bow. Is that only him or do you, you have some friends here? Hey! Ah, it's a one of the favorite to this new leisure. We just eat! Eat the Zelen shake! That wasn't a one hit one kill. Wow, whoa, 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 this is gonna be dangerous. He's gonna, have, he has a halberd. So this is where the, uh, the, the, where the fun ends and he's hitting my pebbles. Okay. Keep my horse be. Whew. Okay. Yeah. No, almost hit him actually. Yeah. Ow, oh, how did you catch me? With the halberd, well, the halberd is really a bit of a problem. Okay.
Did he use the halberd? It seems to me that he did. He's right now running with only a sword or whatever. Now he has it again. Nice. Okay, so bandages, yeah, dried fruit, groschens, uh, lockpick, yes, gonna be taking that from you, thank you very much, wounding arrows, all three. Then, he doesn't seem to be having anything good, anything too expensive, just the 700 armor, we won't, can, he won't be taking that, we have already established it, but, where is your weapon? I want to see the halberd. And there's gonna be still one extra cumin. Hmm. Yes, my arrow. Which you missed. I don't think I've missed with all that many, to be honest. So it might be like the one out of like two, maybe, that you missed. But I'm seriously curious about the halberd. It somehow like s go off. And slide off somewhere all the way to the bottom. No, well, if it did, I'm not gonna be looking for that. But anyway, a bit disappointed. I was hoping that maybe you can be even picking it up or something. Apparently not exactly the case. The Hungarian saber on him. But the halberd is something I would like to see. Is it maybe below him? No, he's having just a sword. Uh, did I drop him on it? Burger sword. All right, let's pick it up. It seems to me that he actually did switch. Burger sword, three hundred. That's not exactly too great. That's also significantly damaged, so we can be kind of keeping it here. And we don't have a shield for some reason, up oh, because of. Yeah, quite probably because we had some torch business earlier. Sort, it's all right. But it really seems to me that somewhere along the line, maybe after some kind of hit, he lost the halberd. And he started attacking with the sword, but where is the halberd? Mel, only God knows, I guess. Maybe Johan can also swell. <laughs> What's that? That an arrow? Yes, it is an arrow. Luckily, they have quite easily distinguishable feathering, so they are quite easy to see. In this kind of background. Some kind of storm coming, storm coming here. Oh, that was close. And <laughs> not in the game, but here in the real world, actually. We're gonna be having some mixed <laughs> messages as far as the weather and, and sounds and whatever like that. Apparently, there's a shield here. Ah, uh, hey Steve. No, no, no AOM today. Today I'm streaming Kingdom Come Deliverance, the latest DLC. Who's this then? No, well, somebody who died here apparently. Okay, so there should be one more cumin for us to destroy. Let's get on our trusty steed and 
Have a look at him, if you can snipe him. So where are you, mister? Oh, he's, is he sleeping? Nah, he seemed to be dead. Maybe he actually bled to death, because I'm thinking we hit him. And we have wounding arrows, so therefore they cause bleeding. So I'm thinking he might have actually died from that. Well, good job then. Yeah, he dead. <laughs> Tried to basically sleep it off. Didn't. Cushions, lockpick, what else do you have? No, Salam, nice. And the wounded arrow that killed him. Spiked Warhammer, that's not gonna be better than what we have. And otherwise, not really anything all that good. And better hunting arrows, you're having like 200 of those. No need for that. Okay, so I think that's, that should be all of them. Did we loot the very first one that we one shot? I right now don't remember. No, we did not. That's this guy. Yeah, that was quite a nice shot. One hit and complete destruction. <laughs> and he doesn't seem to be having anything good on him either. Alright. He was having a bow. It's gonna be probably just normal. Villagers really hazel bow, yeah, that's crap. At this point we have a much better one. And there was also a cave. I'm gonna be interested in that. Maybe there are gonna be a few more guys inside. But first we need to be checking out everything here. Ornamented human shishak. Yeah, it's a standard one. It's nothing out of ordinary. Hmm, I wonder, do I have maybe some guards here? No, doesn't seem so. Okay, so that's the treasure that you're looking for. Nice. 1.8k. It's not bad. Well, now that's quite a pile. And the dagger is here. A real treasure trove. Okay, so 1.8k. Let's kind of remember that number so that we don't screw it up later in the tech, or rather in the. The quest. I'm just gonna be typing it down here in case I forgot, which I tend to do. 1800, alright. At this point I slightly wonder if all the stuff here is actually the Cumans or is it supposed to be the mercenary bands? Because if it's supposed to be the mercenary bands then I wouldn't. Okay, spear. Can be picking up a spear. Can we like use it? Oh yeah, we are actually having the spear as a weapon. <laughs> That's cool. But it doesn't seem it's basically like a weapon. Or is it? Here. Yeah, it is here. But it doesn't have any kind of health for some reason. So we cannot really use it all that much for some obscure whatever. But anyway, let's gonna drop it. Interesting little tidbit. <laughs> Mm 
No, we probably won't be able to put it somewhere nice. I assume. Oh, we did? Oh, well, almost! Almost! Okay, so we can do that. Let's go a bit more to the right. Maybe we can still... I want to be basically putting it against the wall. Going a bit tricky. Oh well, Unity we apparently put in it on the correct, the correct angle. Let's see this. Oh well, screw that. <laughs> Not gonna be able to find the correct one. Bardish, some other things. Apparently plenty of loot or whatever. That, that, that seems like loot. All the cumins rather than anything else. Mint, even in that randomly <laughs> in between, actually go in. like a way inside this building somehow. Doesn't seem to me. And oh, there is a chest. There is a chest, so there is a way in. Only to find it as we are getting late into the day. So at about 82, so I'm probably gonna be getting the bacon for tonight. Hmm. I wonder how do you get the inn? Well, definitely not this way. There is gonna be some way in. Because there is a chest, and that chest will be a spot you can get to. Pretty certain of that. Not this way. to me that it should be here. Alright. Whoa, I so hope I'm gonna be able to get out of here though. If I do get in. No, crouching is not gonna be the way. It's gonna be jumping around, to be honest, it seems. I wonder if the, if the chest maybe isn't just some kind of like red herring that is just supposed to be making you think that there is something in, but in reality there isn't. That would be really nasty. Okay. 
Okay. Don't get stuck, please. Maybe he just simply oh maybe maybe he's gonna be really this way only. I do wonder if this chest is accessible. No, don't run across it, just jump on it and stay on it. No, he doesn't want to be staying there. It's really weird. But it's gonna be anyway impossible to basically jump up there. So can we see some kind of like way in? Hmm. I wonder if this is supposed to be the way in. It seems like way too small to be honest though. Ah, it's not the way in. Definitely not. Definitely not. We cannot get there. Mm, there's a hole in the roof here. It doesn't seem to me you can do much with it. Or can you? Oh yeah, so this was the way in. Alright. So you managed to find it. Nice. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get out though. So good, we did get in in the end. So what kind of treasures are gonna be hidden here? No, we are going here for this. Really? Black feathers, red feathers, white feathers and French altar candle? <laughs> Come on, game. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's kind of nice joke. Little, little joke here. I wonder if we actually need all of those for something later. But anyway, we know that there is a way in into this part. And it's of course significantly helpful. And right now uh, it would be great if we could find a way out though. Okay, so that's this way. There was also something still here. Which maybe seems the way into into the underground passage uh, we had exactly uh, the ladder into. Exactly what you expect in. Let's not let's try not to disturb the cobweb if you can. Hmm. 
Cobweb, Gold Ring, Nighthawk Potion, Stinger, and Short Noble Hoberg. Alright, that's interesting. Everything is rather damaged because it's old apparently, or whatnot. But the sword, even though, is significantly damaged, still 852. Groshen's not bad. Yes, yeah, seems like that somebody unfortunately died here. <laughs> Randomly positioned bones here. Okay, doesn't seem there's anything else here. Apparently even the cobweb doesn't get destroyed. And yes, that's exactly the last part of this. Yep, okay, alright. So we have dealt with this little problem, we have found everything that we needed. Uh, so Pebbles, please. Let's go home, I guess. Oh, we are so far away. Gonna travel on our own. And let's do a bit of a cross country. That's gonna be a crossing here. We should be fine on that. So hopefully, you're not gonna be breaking any kind of necks or whatever. And horsey and us are gonna be surviving both. This is basically the slope, we can see the tree, how it's going up, and we are going down this kind of brutal slope, and Horsey, with a fully armored man on his back, is trying to scale that. Yeah, well, that's definitely risky, I hope you're not gonna be tumbling somewhere here. It's a kind of reasonable ground. Let's put off the torch. No, well, not exactly helping too much with the vision. I was hoping it's gonna be helping a bit more. Okay, yeah, well, uh, I'm not going any further. I might drown. Yeah, we need to find the crossing. It's a bit more to the south. Yeah, I heard exactly. <laughs> you have a kind of mountain horse. A kind of breed between horse and a mountain goat. <laughs> it's apparently really good at keeping his steady pace on even such a slope. Yeah, well, that's why we keep pebbles when you haven't exchanged him for anything else. Where did we go to? Kind of random bushes. What the hell? Yeah. Okay, that's the inn. I 
Uh, question is how long we have taken. Well, it's almost midnight, so it might be even a bit sketchy if they're gonna be even allowing us to buy the room. It does seem to be open, so let's go quick. God save. How may I help you? Good night. I would like a place to sleep, sleep? for today. All right. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. Here you go. Hmm? Take care. Oh, thank you very much. Now let's put pearls into his classic sleeping place with a few friends of his. Oh, be a good boy. Have a bit of fun here. Okay, so that's gonna be the day of business done. Right now we have a bit of food that we have picked up from the dead cumans. So what we're gonna be having? I think we should be eating the bacon. That's gonna be probably going bad first. Then we're having some salami. And smoked sausage, but they should be still kind of fine for a bit longer. Oh, no, I didn't want to be switching into that. Freshness, durability five days. Smoked sausage the same. Yeah, bacon is gonna be going bad a bit earlier. Hmm, yep. So therefore, it's gonna be bacon for dinner. And 92, how's it looking with the bread? The bread is already bad, it's gonna be way too... Way too tough right about now to eat. So let's complement it with, I guess, maybe the pretzel if it's alright. Nope, one of the pretzels is also kinda bad. So let's do the second one, I guess. Those others we're gonna be just throwing away tomorrow. Now let's hit the sex. So about like eight hours. It's gonna be at eight a.m. It's exactly where we would be wanting to get up when everybody else is gonna be getting up as well. 